mind game. Mind game. So on the planet Atreides, I forgot the name of the planet. Um, Arrakis. Arrakis. Nope. Arrakis is the planet that they go to, the sand planet. Anyway, anyway. Oh. so okay, the Atreides Benny planet, Gesserit, the original one. The original planet. The Bending Jezreel comes down to test Paul to do some mind games. I hold at your neck the poison needle. The test is simple. An animal caught in a trap will gnaw off its own leg to escape. What will you do? Do you really want to ask that question? Because like, <laughs> you got a, you got my death right next to my head. Like, if you think an animal will gnaw off their own leg, like, oh, but I will gnaw off your leg. <laughs> you're, you're about to kill me. That's right. He could go and you don't know how you react in a life and death situation. He could attack. That's right. Now, this the twenty year old Paul is attacking this old woman and like beating her. He's in like, fact, if he's already for if he's always ready for combat, he's got his knife to her stomach right now. That's true. He should be always packing because he never knows when Gurney's going to come in. He, Gurney could attack right now. This could be Gurney wearing like a mask. He does like a Mission Impossible, just rips off the mask, and is actually him. He yeah. always got to be ready, Paul. So is Paul not able to prepare, train mentally for this mind game? Or do they just spring it on him and the, he is going to react how he's going to react? It seems absurd. He, get, he gets prepped a little bit by his mom when she's like, do whatever they say. He's like, what? <laughs> and then go in there and close the door behind him. But they're expecting him to react. I mean, yeah, he could kill her. That's right. He could die and now your progeny is dead like what what, what kind of rite of passage is this it's madness yeah, it is madness or is it a fake out there's not actually poison on the thing that would be fun it's actually like a feather she's like oh you failed <laughs> yeah you failed and then the hand in the box you give him lots of pain so essentially torture mm -hmm. and then you want him to grit his teeth and not react in any way during the torture? That, that that seems impossible. Like, if I'm a good leader, gosh, is passing the torture box test essential for making me a good leader? Or is it just not an essential skill? It I I think actually it's detrimental. Right, because there are things that are risky, and that if, like that, and you may feel pain, but then you're not getting that feedback of like I'm experiencing pain. I should stop doing this. I am, and, and then you don't learn lessons of like this thing caused me pain. I should avoid that from the future. This is an actual person. This is an actual person who like doesn't feel the either pain or they don't feel fear. Well, I think they I've had heard to like this they had to like logically. She had to logically teach herself to like avoid situations because she kept putting herself in bad situations and then encountering like trouble. So like if your brain is not functioning with reasonable amounts of like fear responses pain responses like like the information from the environment saying like don't do this then actually this could be really bad also this is only physical pain what about testing paul for emotional pain like show him like a picture of his like childhood dog and like he like breaks down like like that's also not good for a leader right oh so you're endorsing not only physical torture but psychological torture as well that's right the Benny Gesserit okay. would do much better if i was in charge but i'm a man i can't be in <laughs> so the Benny Gesserit just goes around torturing all the future leaders Yep. psychologically and physically until they're just yep. a shell of themselves and like cowering in a corner and they control everything we should also add financially <laughs> like you, you sp spend the summer and you can't make rent what are you gonna do paul <laughs> oh this is getting a little too real here whoa but you're testing she's, te she's testing him to be a leader of the entire empire uh, uh, give him rent problems <laughs> <laughs> the emperor needs to be in charge of the finances of the entire empire. He needs to know how to balance checkbook. <laughs> you like sitting him down doing economics. Like, Paul, you must always be ready for economics. Right. You must always be ready for combat, even yep. on the toilet. Yep. You must always be ready for psychological torture without yep. prep. You must always be ready for financial problems. Yep. Maybe that's why uh, the king, or is it the duke? Sorry, the duke. Is thinking about the spreadsheet during a ceremony because <laughs> he's, he's always, always got to be ready. <laughs> yep, because he's an effective leader and he's always always thinking about these things. Yeah. But Benny Gesserit is like he's the, they're in, they're gnawing in the back of his mind. Like, is this a test? Am I ready? Const constantly, constantly mm -hmm. there. And he's like on the on the verge of a breakdown because of all the torture he's been through. Stoneface. Stone face. Stone face. Stone face. <laughs> 